Well, oh, Horold. What is up? Today, I wanted to try something new and add a narrative to this video. This way, it's hopefully easier to understand what this project is about. I will be showcasing the Dream Dumper 64, which was originally meant to be a debugger for the Pico card by Liana Shadowfall. The Dream Dumper 64 uses a Raspberry Pi Pico to interface with a Nintendo cartridge. It is an open source project and the PCB key CAD files are readily available from Liana Shadowfall's GitHub. The original firmware was more targeted at testing. It allowed interfacing with the Nintendo 64 cartridge, but would only work through a UART connection requiring extra hardware and PC software to reconstruct the ROM into something useful. There was also no EEPROM or save game chip support. Because it was originally used for testing, the read and write speed were not a high priority. I've rewritten the firmware from scratch and made some tasty modifications along the way to improve the interface speed. With the new firmware, the Dream Dumper now has EEPROM reading and writing capabilities. The Nintendo 64 cartridges can now be browsed on the PC as if they're simple USB storage devices with files on them. These files can be played in an emulator on your PC and allow the emulator to write directly to the cartridge after which you can continue playing on your real Nintendo 64 and vice versa. The Dream Dumper also functions as a cartridge verification device. If you are ever not sure whether a cartridge is broken, the Dream Dumper executes a series of tests when it gets powered on. In the test log, you can see the cartridge name, whether it passed the security chip test and whether the saved game chips responded correctly. This will give you confidence that you are buying a working game when there's no Nintendo 64 TV around. Another cool feature is that it's now possible to modify, store, restore, and backup save games on original cartridges. I was even able to dig out and resurrect my old Zelda Majora's Mask save game after I accidentally overrode it with Pokemon Snap. Don't ask or I'll be forced to make a video about it. I really wanted to showcase Mario for a few different reasons. Mainly because everyone knows what it is. And if you don't, you now will. As I mentioned, I improved the transfer speed of the Dream Dumper, however it's still limited by the USB 1 interface speed, therefore smaller games will load faster. Mario 64 being one of the smallest Nintendo 64 game at 6 megabytes. Unfortunately for me, my Mario lives in a closet far away in a storage room somewhere in Europe. I attempted to ask around locally for a copy, but after explaining what I wanted to do exactly, make a video about dumping and restoring the saved game on someone's cartridge, people got nervous. I ended up buying another copy of the game, this time an NTSC version versus my PAL version. The game came with an already fully completed 120 star saved game. For the purpose of this video I proceeded to create a backup of that saved game first. Now because it's already connected to my PC, I loaded it up in an emulator, deleted the 120 star save and attempted to get the easiest first star of the entire game. They broadcast it very clearly. Of course it took a few tries without an actual controller. When I finally got it and saved progress, the emulator wrote to file as it normally would. The only difference is that all file access on this USB drive is actually translated directly into accesses of the cartridge memory. So by saving in the emulator, we wrote to the cartridge. Let's see what we get when we plug this cartridge back into the Nintendo 64. The completed star is now also here. Now for the reverse, I completed a star on the original Nintendo. And when loading the game back up on the PC, that progress can also be viewed there. There are two small modifications I made in terms of wiring. One, the UART RX and TX are now repurposed for SI clock and SI data. Two, the SI data needs a 10K pull-up resistor. Also, if using a WEACT Pico, the VI and 3.3 volts pins need to be joined. That's it. Thanks for watching. This is the Dream Dumper 64. Join the Pico Cart Discord if you are interested in the discussion of this project.